A study found that couples who have a date night once a month were about 15% less likely to break up. But a couple's night can be expensive, leaving many to skip them. What if I told you there are tricks to help you save on your date night? Would you listen? Yes, I would. Well, here to tell us how is the crazy coupon lady, Joni Deemer, is back in the house. Welcome. Thank you. Crazy in a good way. Uh, <laughs> and we haven't talked about this particular topic. You always have great ideas, but you have ways we can save on date night. Yeah, I mean, I've got four kids at home, so I know how important adult time is. So I've got some great tips that are going to help you save money and make sure that you can keep date night. Which is good because literally the most common excuse is, you know what, you, it's it's just going to, it's not worth it. And the truth is, if it can keep your relationship going strong, it's worth it. So what's up first, Joni? All right, so the first site I have for you is called DealFlix. And this is going to save you on your movies. You can save you 30 to 35% on the cost of a movie ticket and concessions. So did you know that 88% of movie theater seats go unused every year? DealFlix is out to solve that problem along with movie theaters. They're gonna offer you discounts in order to fill those seats. So to use DealFlix, you just go in, you enter your zip code, then you can browse the movies at participating um, theaters. There are 750 participating theaters nationwide. And then you're gonna look for deals like, uh, you know, 30% off a ticket plus a free small popcorn or whatever. How, it's, those how are the early savings. in advance of a movie could you do this deal? Is it's, this it's like right like then and there? It's much like Fandango in that you could do it just 30 minutes before oh, the cool. movie. Yeah. 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 So great. you'll see a correlation between, uh, you know, maybe matinee show times, weeknights, bigger discounts there, but you can find weekend blockbusters on DealFlix. Because That's movies great. have gotten yeah, pretty expensive. Really expensive. We, we've all been there when you, the price of the tickets and then the concessions. Yeah. For yeah. two people, you and your date. And yeah. plus the babysitter, and I think you have some tips oh for that gosh. too. The babysitter so. Phil, is often one of the most expensive things, especially if you do have multiple children. But ask any parent, I mean, the babysitter is like step one. You can skip the rest, but you can't skip that one. My best friend and her husband one time actually only made it as far as the garage on their date night. And then oh. they determined that they were gonna come back inside and take a nap without telling the babysitter. <laughs> that was parenting done right, I feel. That's hilarious. That's, That's great. I love that. So speaking of babysitting. Yes. So we can help get babysitting for free with a site called Sitting Around. So Sitting Around will uh, connect you with a local babysitting cooperative. A babysitting co-op is basically an organized babysitting swap where you can earn points for watching someone else's kids. The more kids, the more points you get. If you watch on a weekend, you get more points. There should be a metric for like naughtiness of the children that you have to watch. <laughs> but is there, that would be good. <laughs> no, because then my children wouldn't be allowed. Uh, <laughs> well, and, and this is cool. Like you said, it's a co-op, so it allows the other people signing up to get their date nights in too, exactly. right? Exactly. They have the same goal. Do you? Yeah. you feel comfortable, because as a parent, you always want your kids to be watched by really responsible people. Right. You know that they're going to be responsible parents, hopefully treating your kids like right. you would treat your because own. Because it's reciprocal, of so course, like yeah. you want to treat those other people. So if on sitting around, when you enter your zip code, if you don't find the co-op that you like in your area, or if maybe you find a co-op, but it's a closed group that doesn't take people that, you know, don't know someone already in the group, consider starting your own. Just a simple private Facebook group would suffice, and you can search the internet to find a variety of different points programs that you can just mimic. And then the whole thing is for free. Sitting around costs $15 a year, but again, skip that if you want and create your own group for I free. like that, That's great funny. idea. And yeah. last but not least. All right, so even with my best crazy coupon lady tips, I couldn't make date night completely free. So. If you need to earn a little extra cash on the side, consider taking online surveys. There's a lot of survey companies that want to pay you to take their surveys. Now, is it boring? Yes. Is it slow earnings? Yes. But is it easy? Can you do it in your pajamas at the pace that you want? Totally. So try a site like Survey Junkie. They'll tell you exactly how many points you'll get for every survey and they'll estimate how much time it's gonna take you. So you really can determine whether it's worth it. And if surveys aren't your thing, try Bing Rewards. So Bing is a search engine, but they will reward you. So if you do nothing but sign up for Bing Rewards and start using Bing, every three to four months, you'll earn a free date night. And, and so they're Whoa. basically rewarding you for whatever you search on yeah. your engine? Is Just that your the regular, idea? If you do like 15 or 20 searches a day, you'll max out your points. Joni, you rock. Always yeah. great advice. Fantastic advice. <laughs> really good. Tickets to popcorn today. <laughs>
<laughs> get out there for oh. date night. It's an investment in your relationship. Probably the best investment you can make.